annoying characters three. I feel some type of disrespect because my boy Deco is in here. Just feel like that's unnecessary. Hey y'all, uh, what's up? How y'all doing? Don't act like we're sweet. You've been gone for dang near two months. My food is already cold. All right, all right, chill. It's okay. I'm back now. That's all that matters. Plus, I was baked for half the time, so for me, it felt like a week. And during this long week, I've been reading, watching, learning, exploring. And during my journey of self-discovery and euphoria, I remembered how much I hate certain people on my TV. Everybody in the chat, name one character that you dislike the most. I'm gonna have to put mine as MJ from Spider-Man. I don't know if it's the most, but she came to mind real quick. Mahito, Sakura, Elmo, Daniel LaRusso, Sakura. How many Sakuras in here, dude? I, I can get it though. Sakura could piss your ass off. She really do. Sakura really. When she walks up to the, this just happened last night when I'm in bed. Sakura stupid ass walk up to Naruto talking about, I love you. I don't love Sasuke anymore. Everybody looking at her like, bitch, shut the fuck up. We're back with more annoying characters. I've watched a few more shows and movies since my last one, and I wanted to pop a blood vessel real quick to rant about them. Before I yap my mouth ranted for however long. Real quick, these characters don't make or break a show or movie for me. In fact, I really like most of the stuff I watch that I'm mentioning here. It's just that the characters I mentioned here, I'd love to see get ran over by a bus. We all on the same Wi-Fi? Let's start and get connected. Caillou. Now remember that make or break argument I said like mm, 10 seconds ago? Yeah, that don't apply for him. This dude makes the show unwatchable. I'm surprised I ain't brought him up in the past because whenever I tried to watch him back in the day, you it felt like one big commercial for Plan B. Because this dude was a demon. It seemed like every episode this dude was whining and complaining about the most trivial stuff. He sound like you. Which one of y'all said that? Whenever he ain't crying, he's making a mess and causing problems. Blaming his sister for stuff he messed up, refusing to take baths, always wanting to start beef with new people he meets, being bald, this just too much to list. I swear, I wouldn't be able to handle being this boy's dad, bro. Silly old car, silly, silly, silly. Hey, 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 shut your dumb ass up before I beat it. Damn, I can hear you from downstairs. I can't stand it. I'm watching the game, and I got $2,000 on Caitlin Clark scoring 15 in the second half. <laughs> you f***ing with my parlay, boy. You know, child labor might be illegal here, but I'll send your ass to China make a boost machine in a lick of a second. You already looked the part, you'll fit right in. If I have to come up here again, I'm bringing Diddy with me. Swear to God I ain't playing with you. And those were just a few of the war crimes he's committed. I remember this one episode where he invited his friend over to play in his room with his toy. But she want to play doctor and he want to play dinosaurs. And when she start using his toys for doctor, he get all mad for no reason. How then he you? runs to his mom lying saying she took the toys. No wonder he a skinhead. This is racist. <laughs> Blaming that little black girl for something she ain't even do. Bro would have been a D1 police informant if this was the 1940s. And I know some people are gonna say, oh, he's just a kid. You know, some kids actually act the way that he does. Well, maybe some kids don't deserve to be adopted. I don't know. Cause he That's don't look crazy. nothing like either of his parents. His daddy not bald, his sister not bald, and I'm 70% sure his mom is not wearing a weave. So that's his excuse. He's not even their kid. Send him back home with Annie. Some might say I'm doing too much over this child. And you probably right, I just hate it. Next, Daniel LaRusso from Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai has turned into my junk food show. I think seasons one and two are genuinely good, but then for me, season three and onwards, the story and characters felt like they were being written by yeah, Disney. Yeah, Disney. Channel. It's gotten so That's ridiculous. how I felt in this first season when I first put it on. People were telling me that this was a really good show. I played it and I was like, yeah, sure, but not at this time in my life. Like, maybe when I was really into Power Rangers, I would have loved this. But ain't no way I'm about to turn this bitch on now. Like, I don't want to watch that now. But I love it. But one thing that stayed the same throughout the entire series is Daniel LaRusso's annoying ass. Bro is constantly trying to one-up Lawrence, the best character, even when the dude is broke, drunk, and a bum who got nothing else going on. But as soon as Lawrence opens up Cobra Kai, all because he can't get over his high school bully, being like, I can't have Cobra Kai be a thing. It's not the Miyagi way. And oh my God, I have never seen a man glaze another man to this capacity in all my days. This man <laughs> rides Mr. Miyagi like a roller coaster. Damn near everything he talk about, whether it be karate, food, or sex, this dude will find some way to ride Mr. Miyagi's dead meat mid-conversation. <laughs> Grow would do tricks, splits, 
and backflips on it if Mr. Miyagi told him to. I'm surprised he ain't lose all his purpose when he died. Instead, he worships Miyagi more than Jesus. Now, I ain't watched the Karate Kid movies, so I don't know Miyagi all that well. But if you were alive today and saw how Daniel be acting and talking about him, he'd probably be like, Daniel son. Oh, you suck a hella dick. I really <clears throat> can't stand this grown man. He like 60, acting like this in front of his high school karate students who are like in their mid-20s. Just, just embarrassing. Next, anybody that I've maimed Sombra and spawn camps. I hate you. You make the game more unplayable than it already is and don't reproduce. Next, Starlight. I love the boys, especially this newest season. I thought it was slow at first, but at the end, I think it was just as good as season three. Mostly because the end of that season had that boat where Butcher and Homelander teamed up against Soldier Boy. Man, I, I, I'm still mad. Customer sir. But I digress. Wait, what? Talking Booker and what? It's as good as season three. Mostly because the end of that season had that boat where Butcher and Homelander teamed up against Soldier Boy. Man, I, I, I'm still I'm missing a shit. What the fuck? Booker, what? This is when you join these nigga sides. This is when you get powers. Are we what? Customer sir. But I digress. We talking Starlight. Now, in the earlier seasons, I think she was a pretty good character. And I still think she is. But as of late, there's been moments where I'm just like, shut up. And I'm not talking about how she looked like Michael I Jackson now. I don't care about cool. that. I mean, how she got all upset at Huey because he ain't know the shapeshifter wasn't her after he proposed to her and they did a whole bunch of snuggling. I know you were chained up for days, barely getting any food and water, but you do too much. Who cares about that? It's all in the past. It's That's not crazy. Huey's fault that she's a better side bitch than you ever were. And how she always try to act intimidating with them glowing eyes, but nobody's scared of you. Sit down. Like, what's she gonna do? Flash me? Sounds like a reward. Go ahead. <laughs> and before you start pointing fingers at me, I I'm not being sexist or nothing. I love Kimiko. She bad as hell. Firecracker too. She also bad. Miss Newman, <laughs> baddie. And if the deep is mashing Sister Sage, then I'm throwing my shot at her too. The deep always got the best taste. Plus, I love me a girl that can help me take over. Oh, the deep is just a freaky ass nigga. Stop this. Nigga, fuck everything. Stop. Don't say that. Some shit like that. Don't say some shit. Throwing my shot at her too. The deep always got the best taste. Plus, I love me a girl that can help me take over the world. How can I be sexist when I want to have sex with all these women? You can't call me out. And that part when she was against Huey when he was trying to get Victoria to join the boys with them, that had me rolling my eyes so far back back like okay starlight i get that she spoiled our plans multiple times and we have really no reason to trust her at all but can't you see huey's trying to get some pussy calm down dang maybe huey might not be a good boyfriend nah it's starlight it, it's starlight yeah my starlight examples are kind of nitpicky and i still like her overall but sometimes she just make me <sighs> you know next deku now, I've never Stop been a this. huge fan of MHA, it, but I've always liked the series overall. One yeah, thing it's I a really solid series like overall, though, man. Was Izuku Midoriya. He's annoying. I, I, I get that. Like, he's very, like, nigga, like, shut up sometimes. Like, he's not even one of those main characters that is just, like, loud and obnoxious but cocky about it. Like, he just doesn't believe in himself. Like, that's what pisses me off. It's like, nigga. At least believe in yourself if you're gonna be crying like like bitching all day long like oh i can't do it i don't think it's possible oh, no way it's like nigga that's not the naruto way but other than that when he finally does get in his little groove that boy deku a dog that boy a dog boy <laughs> Hey, what's what's the main what's the MC from Bleach? Cause he whooping that nigga ass when he in his group. Hey, hey, Deku. Always saw him as kind of a crybaby and a doormat. Always bawling his eyes out for every little gesture someone gives him. And a doormat, cause how he became friends with Bakugo so quick. Like this dude has bullied you to the point of you wanting to self check out for years. Yet just because he found out where I got my power from, he wanna be in my life now? No, you can kick rocks and go kiss Kirishima. I don't wanna be friends with you. I don't want you around. I don't care if you know my secret. I will. You're glazing, Ducky. I'm really just rage baiting. I mean, y'all niggas fall for it every time. You know who really falls for it? Oh, the niggas in the comment section after I upload this shit. These niggas be like, no way you just said that. I'm unsubscribing. Kill yourself. How could you possibly say <laughs> I be sitting there on my phone like, nigga, 
Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I nobody cares. I don't know how to tell you this. Nobody gives a fuck. The fuck you arguing me over some anime, nigga? I don't give a fuck. You can go beat your meat in the corner. No, you can kick rocks and go kiss Kirishima. I don't want to be friends with you. I don't want you around me. I don't care if you know my secret. I will 1 million percent Delaware Mississippi smash on you if you tell anyone or talk to me. Is what Deku should have done. Instead of crying tears of joy when Bakugo says, hey, you weren't completely dog during training today. Cause that's a power of friendship! Hell yeah! That's why, no matter how much they fuck you over, you still gon' show love, my nigga! what Deku should have done. Instead of crying tears of joy when Bakugo says, hey, you weren't completely dog during training today. Thank you so much. But this could have all been fine, you know. I've seen the power of friendship done well in stories, so maybe in the end it would have all been worth it. However, the manga recently ended. And honestly, I think Horikoshi is either trolling or hates Deku just as much as me. Cause this was weak. The final chapter had everybody in his class end up as successful big star heroes eight years in the future, while Deku lost his quirk working at UA as a teacher. What is this? Wait, I what? This story was building up to you being known as the greatest hero. Wait, what? PE teacher. Why isn't he a hero no more? We see him up to be strong and crazy fast with no support of their quirk. Stain was faster than every hero he came across, including Lita, and he known for speed. Mirio is strong as hell, not because he can face through walls, he just be hitting the gym. Deku could have done this. Imagine a hero as fast as Stain, as strong as Mirio, with a gun, and the aim of snipe. That's at least a top five strongest hero in the MHA burst. Don't at me. None of that requires no quirk either. So there's no excuse. This not even the nail on the coffin. He don't even end up with Ochako. There ain't no sign of them being together. So you telling me at the end of the entire story, Deku is quirkless, bitchless, and on a teacher's salary? Maybe Bakugo was right. You should kill your- This ending is so disappointing for Deku. He gone through hell and back for this outcome. All for one, one for all. Man, this was all for nothing. And at the final chapter, he's saying, well, I may be quirkless, but at least I made use of it when I had it, and I can encourage people with their own quirks too. Shut the so fuck up! Something about that. They did my nigga like this? They did him like- They did him like this? I didn't know they did him like this. No, that ain't right, dude. That ain't right. That's worse than climate change, how they did my nigga, bro. When I had it, and I can encourage people with their own quirks too. So there's something awesome about that. And then this is him two panels later. Yeah, he don't even agree with himself. He coping. At least give my boy a million dollar severance check every year. He saved the world for Christ's sake. But nah, we got this. W welcome to Ronald's. What would you be ordering today? Yeah, can I get that four for four meal? And a Whopper without a Big Mac? That would be $12.97. Yeah, no problem. Would you like your receipt? Nah, no thank you. This shit ain't y right. You know, I used to be a hero once. Mm-hmm. I remember, dog, these conversations actually will put you in the right state of mind. Like, I remember when I was about to leave for college, I was working at, like, the grocery store, Big Y, and one of the guys who comes in, he's like a coat guy. He came in, he was stocking shelves, and I was stocking shelves on the other one. He was like, hey, man, how you doing? I was like, I'm doing well. He was like, uh, he asked me my age. I was like, I'm 17. I'm about to go to college. He was like, yeah, man. I I remember when my college days, man. I went to school for uh for computer science, bro. I remember those days. Now I'm doing this. I just looked at this nigga like trying to kill my dreams or something. Nigga, like, what the fuck are you doing? I saved the world from total annihilation yeah and i'm lebron james can you give me my damn food i haven't feed my kids in two days and you only got them a four for four next sadness from inside out bruh just play the vid shut the f up how about that anybody ever tell you to do that before you can pause as much as i want Let's get cool. nah, i ain't even gonna welcome nigga welcome to my world fuck wrong with you i guess they ain't got enough beans in their life can you give me my damn what i'm saying give me my damn mm -hmm. fries nigga bruh just kill her 
Now, I ain't Indeed. even gonna sugarcoat it. It'd be better off she was dead. She was so annoying in the first movie, causing all the problems, making Riley damn near bipolar, and running away from home. All cause she wanted to feel included. Bitch, nobody wanna be sad. That ain't a good feeling. Who chooses to be sad in general? It's never a good time. Like when I'm joyful, I could be smiling, laughing about my day and stuff, and then I remember, oh wait, I'm me. <laughs> Nobody likes that feeling. Nobody should go through that pain, those emotions. Normally, I'll just want them to make Riley think of the idea, hey, just take an antidepressant to make sadness just disappear. But I know joy would most likely disappear first, so that ain't an option. So instead, sadness, just sit your ass in the corner and we'll call you over when Riley has her first breakup or when she's at her grandma's funeral, whatever. She is but the worst the of the meantime, worst, bro. Don't bother don't Riley touch it, bro. or anybody else in the world. And if I catch you messing up anybody's day, it'll be on sight. I'm just gonna go up to the next sad person I see and just whoop -ah! Next, Skylar White. Breaking Bad, known as one of the greatest TV shows of all time with some of the greatest cast of characters of all time. Also contains one of the most hated characters ever, Skylar. Is Walter Skylar White, White that bad? Almost the entire Why is everybody not so like her much, so much, it feels bro? like she's universally hated. I and I think day, at least Deku is she's not bad at all. I actually like Skylar. When I finished the series and reflected on the things she went through and her actions, that's what I'm I saying. Almost all of them are like your husband's a fucking a drug dealer. That day, that, that couldn't be easy for her. This is coming from somebody from the off, total outside, by the way. I've never seen a single episode of Breaking Bad before I say this, but I'm just saying, if your husband's a drug dealer, you got to go through all the bullshit he's putting you through. Like, how bad could she really be? The worst thing I've seen her do is this. Birthday to you. I mean, it's about 10 bodies right there. 10 or 11 bodies, but like, that's the worst thing I've seen. Like, how, like, what's wrong with her, man? At the start of the show, Skylar is left in the dark for so long about what Walter's doing, why he's suddenly gone all day. She's worried sick about him thinking he's cheating. Come to find out he's selling that good stuff. From then on, she's generally never happy again. She can't divorce Walt and only working together with him to keep what's left of this family together. Going against her morals just to do what she thinks is best for her children. Only for it to all end in disaster. And Walter is the one who put her in this situation in the first place. She feels trapped. Yeah, there's a few things she's done that's a little cringe. You know, that birthday song, Forever Be Haunting Me. And yeah, she cheated on Walt, but that was only after she found out about his business and wanting the divorce. And also the refrigerator scene happened. Did y'all that scene? happened? I will defend Skylar to the dusk of dawn. I think she's a great character. I'm only bringing her up because she's known as the worst. How you gonna hate Skylar for just being a nagging wife? And praise Walter like, hell yeah, let Jane die. Kill that kid. It's all for the good of the business. Oh yeah, fam. Yeah, yeah, fam. Y'all directing your hate to the wrong person. Because how is she the most hated? When Walt Jr. exists. Oh my god, I hate this nigga, bro. So, so, so what you're saying is, you're a liar. Oh my god, he's just selling meth. You acting like he's selling crack. Or robbed a Walmart or something. Release my <laughs> Release my nigga. He making a big deal out of nothing. If I found out my dad is in the empire business, I'm gonna be like, wait, you sell what? How much money you make? That much? And you're not sharing? You made me pay for your food yesterday and you had this much? You greedy bastard! Next and last person I want to talk about isn't really a character, but he certainly acts like one. It's Kanye. <gasps> Why? How could you say that? He's the GOAT. I thought you loved Ye. Nigga, you think I want to say this? Do you? I'ma just be blunt with this. Vultures 2 is not, not good. good. It is so mid. It's disappointing. It don't even sound like they even trying. I mean, maybe Ty Dollar is. I can't tell. The niggas sound the same in every single song he's ever been in. But lyrically, Ye is at his weakest. I don't even feel like praising the few tracks I like because the overall album is just so nothing. And I see new Kanye fans praising the album, saying it's overhated. Like, I'm glad you guys liked it, but I was a Kanye fan when he released Ye and Kid C Ghost within a week of each other a week and those two albums have some of his best songs to, to this date. date so me expecting something of similar quality and then i got these two albums instead this year 
You can try to understand my disappointment. And I get, I get it. He's in a different phase. Healthy, probably more now than ever with this nitrous gas he's huffing now. Which, if you ain't know, literally kills your brain cells and causes permanent brain damage. You may ask why. How did he even get into it? Like yeah, how do you even get into that? Higher than the Empire State, while also slowly killing you. And knowing Kanye, as creative as he is, is doing this stuff hurts. Hurts, bro. And there ain't nothing I can do other than hope he got actual helpful friends and family around him. I don't think he does. Do not do that. Don't do whippets, gas, none of that. Just smoke weed like a nigga. Normal. How? Yeah. How high you need to be, nigga? How high do you really need to be? I get you want to feel euphoric every once in a while, but ganja does enough. Once you find yourself doing that, like real talk, I'm, I know I'm being enthusiastic and you think it might be a joke, but you're, you've gone too far. Even if you're doing weed to that extent, to where you feel like you're just fiending all day, every day, and every time you do something, you feel like you want to smoke, you got it. Uh, you're limiting yourself, brother. You're a bitch at that point. Oh, I can't do this until I smoke. Oh, I can't do this until I smoke. Like, come on, dude. But not those bootleg 10 gram, $20 smoke shop carts. That'll kill you, too. Or even better, don't even don't do, do drugs. You're only hurting yourself and the people around you when you're doing hard ones and the stuff Ye is on. I don't want to see what anyone you, else like, doing it. I don't you care doing? about Vultures 3. I want Ye to be healthy and get mental health more than any form of new and future music. But all I can do is help. And yeah. That was Annoying Characters 3. Kind of a downer to end on, but I had to say something about this. But it would have been a bigger downer to end on my alternative character pick, uh, Debbie from Shameless. But I've had too many migraines making this video. It's just, if you know, you know. She's terrible. Literally the worst. Like, damn, I hate her. See, I can't. I can't. Those were my characters. Follow whatever links down below. And uh, in conclusion, I'm voting for Kamala Harris because she a bad bitch. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kids. And secondly...